Hey guys, Josh here, and welcome to another video in our 500 drops from series. This one is of the ear roots, or ear rut, not sure how to say that, but uh, clip in the background, just me having a bit of a dance with them. Bit weird, happened a few times, but yeah, I thought I'd just throw that in there. Might have happened to you guys if you've been killing them. And on screen now is a map of where they are. Uh, I personally use Phoenix Lair Teleports very close as you can see and they buy for less than 1k on the GE uh, you've got the lodestone a lot further south the Eagles Peak lodestone if you've unlocked that and a bit closer you've got uh, east you've got the fairy ring uh, so back in the live game now we have the loot on screen so I did not get the Razorback gauntlets uh, I think they're around 5 mil, 5 or 6 mil at the moment. They were about 30 to 35 on the GE. Um, that was the market price put on them, but they quickly went down. Partly because melee is not as popular as it used to be, and because the um, they degrade to dust, so not really ideal. Uh, we'll get into the price check. The bones... There we go, 5.5 mil worth of bones. We've got the Spirit Sapphire and Dragonstone, not tradable. The mask items there. And just all the other rune items as well. Uh, in terms of kill rates, I think I got around, say, up to 140 kills an hour. But uh, that was paying a lot of attention and being Mr. Efficient in that. I didn't use a Steel, steel Titan. And... Well, all I did was have a pack hack to bank the bones and just use dual drygores uh, with Tetsu, so it's tank armor. So if you've got Torva or other power armor, you might be faster. If you've got a Titan, might be faster and all that. But for argument's sake, we'll say 100 kills an hour because not everyone's going to have high level gear. And with 100 kills an hour, they are also... Um, so 5 hours, say. If we look here, you've got 17 mil in 5 hours, so at least uh, 3 mil an hour, we'll say 3 mil an hour, 3 mil plus, which isn't too bad, especially if you're just doing it for a Slayer task. The XP was actually really good as well, like I said, assuming 100 kills an hour, uh, 200k defense, or combat, uh, 66k hit points, 10k Slayer if off task, 100k Slayer an hour if on task. Uh, and that gives a total, if you're off task, of about 270k an hour. I'll put all that in the description, and hopefully uh, that'll be a lot clearer. Uh, the Spirit Sapphire and Dragonstone, I haven't really looked too much into that. I'm pretty sure that, well, it is to do with the new summoning update, and something to do with them storing uncharged pouches. Uh, but I don't really train summoning much anymore, so these will just be sitting in my bank for a while. Charms-wise... Big on the Crimsons, uh, you get one, or you average more than one every two kills, and the others just sort of, a few blues, a few greens, and not a lot of golds, which is always nice. Uh, for, it was a roughly 400k, so I, I didn't pick up all the coins, it was just sort of rounded off. Uh, the herbs are noted, which is nice, and the scales. Now, they're actually, I don't know what they're selling for at the moment. I think it's less than that, so this number might be thrown off a bit. Uh, but they you they were up over two mil, but I believe they changed the drop rates, and then having these uh, the air roots dropping them changed that a lot as well. Now the last thing I'll cover is the Tuska mask that you can make from these pieces here. Now this was a requirement to get my I think it's just for any completionist, not just trim, but you've got to make one. Uh, I've got my override on, of course, so I'll just chuck that off. If I go wardrobe, and what's going on here? Okay, there we go. Uh, head items, deactivate, there we go. If we zoom in, so that's the Tusker mask. Oh, there you go, see it's right like, uh, just like that guy's head. And just sticks off the front of your face. So if you can make that, um, then it grants you some XP and a combat stat and once again uh, info will be in the description more information regarding that 
Uh, but if you have, or if you are going for completionist cape, then making this is one of the requirements. You can get them from these, or alternatively, uh, they are tradable if noted. I don't know if that's still the case. I assume it could be patched soon, but when I was, uh, when they first came out, the mask pieces were tradable if they were noted. So if you don't want to kill them for the uh, the mask pieces, possibly see if you can get them through a trade. Now, I don't really know what else to cover. Um, as is typical me, I've rambled on a lot. Rebel, rebel, rebel. But more information in the description. Uh, I don't think I'll be killing many more of these. Uh, the benefit isn't really that great. If I have a Slayer task, and I'll kill them. But other than that, I think 500 kills will do me fine. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, take care.